Hey, this is Phil White, the Earth Sciences Librarian at CU Boulder. Wanted to share this quick video on how to delineate a drainage basin or a watershed in ArcGIS Pro. I didn't see any videos on YouTube that demonstrated how to do this in ArcGIS Pro, so I thought I would uh, upload one real quick. So you want to start off with the DEM, and I got this from USGS. It's just a DEM, uh, one meter resolution that uh, covers the kind of area just south of Boulder, including the flat irons. Uh, the first thing I recommend is clipping this down because if you're running it over a, a, a big DEM, it's going to take a while to do a few of these tools. Maybe the easiest way to do this is to zoom in on an area that you're interested in and then um, go over to your DEM, right click and go to data export raster which will open up this export raster dialog box um, importantly you want to give it a name like um, clipped DEM and you also under under clipping geometry you want to tell it uh, current display extent if you're doing it by this method you could also clip it by a, by another layer if you want to so go ahead and export that. And when it's done, it should add your new clipped DEM to your map. And I just turned off my old one and now I have a, a smaller DEM to work with. So now we're gonna run a few tools to delineate this watershed. First, um, go to analysis. You can go to your tool set here and click your toolbox. That will open up this geoprocessing tab over here. And uh, I already have a few things open, but basically you'll want to navigate down to your spatial analyst tools and then into the hydrology tool set. And the first tool you want to run is the fill tool. The fill tool basically smooths uh, the the DEM out a little bit to remove some errors, what they call sinks. Um, and your input is going to be your clip DEM. Uh, you give your output a name, something like um, DEM fill, and run it. This might take a minute. Okay, so that tool is all done, and that took probably uh, a minute and a half on the small version that I created. Basically, the fill tool, um, you want to do it so you don't have a drainage basin that ends up being one cell. So once you've run that tool, uh, the next tool in this process, you can go back over your, to your geoprocessing tab, click the back button, and you want to do the flow direction tool next. Your input raster will be the DEM fill. Uh, output will be, we'll just call this uh, flow direction DEM, just like that. Um, go ahead and run that. This one shouldn't take as long. Okay, that one only took about 15 seconds, and we have this image, uh, this raster that basically shows direction of each uh, of, of the downward slope um, as determined by the the largest drop between one cell and its and all of its neighbors. So once you've run that tool you can open your geoprocessing tab again, hit the back button, and we can go ahead and run the basin tool. And your input will be this flow direction DEM, your output, we'll just call it uh, basins, run it. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, what I have here are is, an, uh, is a new raster and um, it's just colored each different um, 
drainage basin in a different shade of gray. At this point, you've delineated your your uh, drainage basins, uh, but one thing you may want to do is convert this to a vector polygon. So to do that, we can go back to our geoprocessing tab, hit the back button. We can close out our spatial analyst tools. We're done with that for now. And you can go to your conversion tools and go drop down the from raster tool set and go to raster to polygon. Your input raster will be your ba basins. We'll call this uh, basin polygon and run it. Okay, so now we have polygons here for each basin. You can also, uh, if you only need one of them, you could um, go to your map ribbon, uh, go to select, uh, click on one of them, right click on your layer, go to data, export features, Give it a name like whatever it's called, my drainage basin. Run that. And if I turn off all my other layers, now I have just my basin. You can click on the icon here which will open up your symbology uh, dialog. Uh, it will probably default to this page under gallery, but if you click on properties, you can go in and, and uh, select your own color scheme. I'll change it to no color with a red outline, click apply, and we've delineated a basin. So I should also mention that the basin tool is one way to do it. Um, you can also use the um, watershed tool, which it works a little bit differently. It uh, can delineate a watershed um, based on an area above a certain elevation. Um, and there's a few more extra steps for computing it that way. Um, the way I demonstrate is kind of the simplest way. Um, and I'm going to put a couple of links in this video that kind of link out to more information and show uh, other methods of, comp of doing the same task. So that's it for now. Um, feel free to email me if you have any questions at philip.white at colorado.edu. And bye for now.